Here I have two different size cans, and it really doesn't matter what size you use. I have one that's a little shorter and bigger in diameter, and one that's a little taller and smaller in diameter. I'm going to use the bigger one first, and I have some wooden beads. I get these off Amazon. They are 20 millimeter beads. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun, and you wanna make sure you put enough hot glue on. And I'm gonna start at the base of the tin can, and I'm just gonna go around the entire thing with my wood beads. Now I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can do this. Um, the first way is with the hot glue gun. The second way will be with the second tin can I have. So you can pick whichever technique is easier for you. Now again, I used 20 millimeter beads and I did have a small section at the end where the bead didn't fit in the last spot when I went around the entire can. So again, as you're applying these, you want a lot of glue, and we use the Gorilla Glue Sticks. These work really well. We rarely have our projects fall apart, so I recommend using a good glue stick. So this is what it looks like. And then right at the end here, I did have some spots that needed to be filled in. So I just grabbed some of my smaller wooden beads and just tried to cover that the best that I could. And you can display this with that being the back. So I didn't make too big of a deal of it. And then I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalked Spray Paint and I'm going to give that a good coat of spray paint. Once that's fully dry, I took my Wise Owl Higgins Lake and a small art brush and I'm just brushing on top of the beads. Dry brushing is just a very light amount of paint. We still want the white to peek through, but this is what we have so far. And then I'm going to add some of this metallic gold from Deco Art on top of it. And I think the blue, gold, and white all look really nice together. So I'm gonna put that aside, and this is the second option, is I have some of this stretch cord from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99, it's 16.4 feet. I have some 16 millimeter wood beads. I'm gonna use some colored and some natural wood ones. I got these right from Walmart. And I'm going to take 10 colored and 10 wooden and string every other onto the stretch cord. Now if you do this way, I recommend you using something that's stretchy, but if all you have is jute, that should work as well. And then I'm just going to tie it so we have like a bracelet. And I made eight of these. And then you're just gonna take your tin can and slide them on. So this really requires no hot glue. And depending on the size of your can will depend on how many beads you use and how many of the bracelets you need to make. So now we have two of these tin cans covered in the wooden beads. And I'm just going to take the floral styrofoam. I get these right from Dollar General. You can also find them at Michael's. And I'm just going to stick them right inside of the tin can. Now you can fill these with anything of your choice. If you like to do real flowers, I prefer artificial. So once I have the styrofoam inside both of these, I'm then going to take some of these succulents. You can find these right from the Dollar Tree. I just collect them every time I go because I end up using a lot of them for many different crafts. And you're just going to fill the top with these succulents so that the styrofoam is covered. The second can was a little smaller, so it didn't take as many succulents. And there we go, now we have two very easy wood bead succulent holders. And you can display these inside your home Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out all our tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.